Octave drums are essential for creating solo house sax rhythms. I first started playing octave drums because I wanted to toggle one note going back and forth without actually changing the pitch. I wanted to play two different notes without actually changing the harmony. This way, I'm playing a B flat and a B flat, but they sound different, so you can go back and forth and create a very interesting sound. I'll give you an example. If I'm playing a rhythm using a low B flat, it would sound like this. If I played it just using the middle B flat, it would sound like this. But if I toggle back and forth, it would sound like this. And if I want to toggle between three notes, I could do the low B flat, middle B flat, and high B flat. This is what makes solo house sax interesting. Let's stay on that low B flat and middle B flat. I'm going to play a few phrases for you and I want you to repeat it back the best you can. Awesome. Thanks for joining me in that call and response. By doing this on different pitches, you can really change up the variations and create an interesting phrase. You don't have to go back and forth like this. You can actually play the low note a few times, the middle note a few times, like this. Or you can go back and forth. Once you combine all these things, using octave jumps, using different rhythms, using different harmony, you can create endless possibilities. Another tip, you can actually hold down a lot of your right hand whenever you're doing your octave jumps. For example, whenever you play B flat, low B flat that is, to middle B flat, you can only lift the A and G key. You don't actually have to lift all your fingers. As opposed to, try that out. That doesn't work on every note. For example, B, it sounds a little bit weird. It doesn't really come out right, but it works for C. Find what works best for you. Try different combinations of fingers. Sometimes it comes out really bright if you hold down some of your fingers. Another reason why it's great to use octave drums is it's our superpower as saxophone players. Other horn instruments, like sousaphone, trombone, trumpet, and even clarinet have a really difficult time jumping octaves. On the saxophone, it's much more simple. Most solo house sax phrases start with a really powerful low downbeat and jump up an octave. When you jump up the octave, usually that note is a much shorter eighth note. As I talked about before, think doodot. The rest of the measure is usually a variation of eighth notes on a combination of downbeats and upbeats. The first sax exercise in this curriculum is a great example of how you can use octave jumps to create solo house sax music. And I'm going to show you why.
Variation one is a classic solo house sax rhythm. The octave jump on the first beat defines the style, and the eighth note on the and of two gives it motion. Off beats are very important to the style because they give the music more movement. Because the bass drum is often four on the floor, meaning a hit on every beat, it's important to play off the downbeat. In variation three, we change up the rhythmic feel by displacing the octave jump rhythm by an eighth note. In the first beat, the eighth notes are on one and the and of one. Then I continue to play the same rhythm, but a half step up and one eighth note off so that the eighth notes land on the and of two and downbeat of three. Variation four is like variation three, but we add an octave jump on the sixth note of the mode to lead back into one. Feel the direction of those last two notes. Variation four also shows a great example of playing the phrase with two different endings. As I mentioned before, this style is mostly made up of quarter notes and eighth notes, but triplets can really help switch up the groove. Check out Variation 5 on Saxercise 1. Do you see how those triplets really change it up? I absolutely love that sound. Don't forget to put some triplets in your solo house sax. It can really spice up your playing. In this example, I'm playing quarter note triplets, but eighth note triplets also can help move the direction of the solo house sax phrase. Variation six uses 16th note rests and tied 16th notes. These tied 16th notes are the equivalent of an eighth note. This is a slightly more extreme version since the only notes on the downbeat are the first note and the second to last note. The notes in the beginning and end act as an anchor to ground the whole line and the rest of the offbeat notes give the line motion. As you see, I waited to use these 16th notes and tied 16th notes off the beat for variation six. I recommend you wait until you get deep into a solo house sax song before you start doing the same. These saxercises are not only an example of solo house sax, they are also a great way to drill these techniques. They serve as a workout for you to be able to get better at not only these techniques, but solo house sax itself. By running these saxercises, you'll find that you'll increase your speed, your stamina, and your creativity. If you're just getting started with your practice routine, I suggest you start with a few warm-ups like long tones, and then you immediately jump into a saxercise. Add this first saxercise to your practice routine. Every time you pick up the horn, do a saxercise. If you practice every single day, do it at least once every single day. If you only practice once a week, do it once a week. It's really important that you keep on drilling this so you can really understand the style. Once you can't tell the difference between my sound and your sound, you'll know you mastered it. In Saxercise 1, you're gonna get great examples of solo house sax passages and all the different variations that you can create. In Saxercise 2, you're gonna get a great grasp of octave jumps. You're really gonna get that crucial practice for mastering solo house sax. Make sure to run these as often as possible. It's more important to do them every day in the week than seven times in one day. So if you can, try to spread out your practice and do these exercises daily. At the end of this course, you're gonna be able to get out there and start playing solo house sax on your own. My name is Leo P, and this is Solo House Sax.